Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is officially my second makeup video on my channel. This is the makeup look I came up with and you guys can let me know if you guys want to see any kind of specific looks on the palette. I would like to call this a Valentine's Day look. It's it's very it's very sultry yet very romantic and warm and cozy. So yeah, so this is a Valentine's Day look. Hope you guys like it and please keep on watching. Thank you. I will be taking these two eye patches off. All the eye patches are from Peter Thomas Roth. I like them a lot. They give they get rid of the puffiness and helps with the wrinkles I have underneath my eyes. Tatcha Silk Canvas. So this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas. Um, it's a poreless, pore minimizing primer. Helps with minimizing pores. So I'm just gonna be using my contouring sponge. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll link it down below. Um, I'll just do it directly into the primer and just stamp it onto my face. On the places that I feel like I need more help with my large pores. So, I know my last video was all over the place. I apologize for that, but obviously it was my first attempt at making or filming a makeup video and editing and posting because I know a lot of people don't even post their first attempt. I did not want to chicken out. And it was more so a sit down video like my first video on YouTube it was like an intro like I wanted to introduce myself to you guys I know I don't need to put primer on my lids I'm not actually it's just I'm swiping when it's out of product that's when I'm so I'm kind of stamping in the primer I apologize if I don't stay in focus. I'm actually buying one of those camera remotes so that I can fix my zoom in and zoom out. I can't actually do that manually. I don't know how to and from what I see it's really hard to do it with my camera. The camera I'm using right now is the EOS 700D from Canon. So it's a good camera. A lot of people don't even recognize that number but in America the camera model is Canon Rebel T5i. That's what it's recognized as. The same camera has tuning. So I used a pore minimizing primer on my T-zone. And I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water for my whole face. I love how my foundation sits on top of this primer. And today we are going to be using my Hide or Die Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Today I'm going to be using the lightest shade, Y375. Um, and I'm going to be using my sponge, Morphe sponge. So I'm going to be doing two pups directly onto the sponge. And I like using this side. Uh-oh. Okay. So I like using this side for foundation because it's flat and I don't know I just like this side better for face product application I don't really use the round side for anything I use these side the flat side for my makeup application I love this foundation. It gives light to medium coverage. Actually medium to full coverage. You can build this foundation up for sure. Um, it helps with my hyperpigmentation that I deal with.
Don't forget your hairline and around your ears. Like that. Just gonna dab it onto my whole face. I'm just gonna try to cover that blemish over there which I know is not gonna work I'm gonna have to use spot concealing for that Now I want a little bit more coverage, so I'm going to build up the foundation a little bit more. This foundation is, it has the perfect, perfect consistency. Even if you build it up, it won't look cakey or like, you know, like you put too much makeup on. So today we're going to be using the NARS concealer, the Radiant Cream Concealer, and I'm going to be using the shade Tiramisu and Caramel. I love these concealers. Um, I'm going to be using the lighter shade more so towards my inner corners and blending it out with Tiramisu, or actually Caramel, more towards my face. That way the color blends in, because this one's a little lighter. like so forehead nose bridge cupid's bow chin my smile line and I love doing around my nose. That way it gives a little bit more coverage. Oh, and I need to do some spot concealing over here. So I'm using the same side I used for my foundation to do this part to blend my concealer in. Uh, Concealer under the eyes. See how it blends the two colors in that way they don't look, the lighter color doesn't look too harsh. So while I'm still drying that. I try not to put a crease on underneath my eye so that when I bake the crease doesn't show as much otherwise creases and will not help the situation instead is just gonna make it much more visible like
So for setting powder and under eye baking, Veil Translucing Powder, Translucent Setting Powder from Hourglass. And I'm going to be using the other side of the sponge now, the side that I did not use for concealer or foundation. Just stamp it into the powder and just dab, 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 dab. Okay, so I'm putting a good amount underneath my eye. That is just to prevent any caking, any creasing happening with the creases I already have on my natural under eye and then I'm just gonna set everything else set okay. okay now I love this sponge because it is so easy to carve out your jawline and your like so I like building up that way it's easier to handle the situation than to slather on This is just a palette to set your face with and I love this palette. It, the powders in here have like amazing formula. They give you like a subtle, I don't know, like a bridal look basically. It's not shiny and it's not, it just gives you a glow from within. It looks like it gives you a glow from within which is just beautiful. And for the setting powder all over my face and fanning away my under eye baking, I used my brush from BH Cosmetics, BH Studio Pro. You can literally use any brush for this, honestly speaking. fade that line out a little bit okay so I used I used this shade over here which is called dim light and I used incandescent light under my eyes when I was removing my bake So for bronzer, we are going to be using Milk Makeup 
in the shade Baked. This is how that looks. It's very warm. I'm going to have to be very light-handed with it. So I'm going to be using Morphe R14 brush. Okay, so I'm going go, gonna to go directly into the product and then buff it out a little bit on my hands before I go directly onto my face. And So now to set the bronzer, we are going to be using... So for this, we are going to be using the brush Morphe M536. And we're going to be using this new bronzer from L'Oreal Paris in the shade La Terra. There you go. And I'm just going to be setting my bronzer. I'm not going too heavy handed with it because I don't want it to look muddy. It is very warm, which I love. I love warm um, bronzers. Makes you look sun kissed all the time. On my jawline as well. Not just my cheekbones, but also on my jawline because I do have slightly very slightly a double chin okay and then I'm gonna take the powder scrunch my brush like this and then I'm going to tap off excess just contour my nose slightly a little bit And then I let go of the brush and just let it do the job for me and it blends out the line doesn't leave a harsh line so today for highlighter I'm using a loose highlighter from artist couture it's in the shade Illuminati Illuminati it's very beautiful so for highlighter we are going to be using the Sephora 79 Pro Contour Brush. I'm tapping some of the powder onto the cap and just using the cap to blend out the powder. I'm just gonna... You can definitely go overboard with this highlighter. It, It's just, it's blinding. Let's just say that. So I like tapping a little bit on first to see what I'm working with. Because, to be honest, you never know. You can go overboard in seconds, like literally. So I like tapping it and then just blending it out a little bit. See? And I like bringing up my highlighter to my temples a little bit. And then I... Dab, dip into the um, powder and just a light wash of that on my nose and then I'll blend that later. That's how that looks. Cupid's bow. So after I'm done blending, I just blend out the nose bridge and voila, you are highlighted. I definitely recommend you guys try this product out. Um, and it's a kind of a shade. Illuminati is the kind of shade that's going to suit anyone. I do have medium to deep skin tone and I have an olive undertone. 
and I feel like it's a very flattering shade on me. It's not gold, it's not silver, it's like the perfect shade. It's not too cool tone. So yeah, it's, I think it's gonna suit anyone and everyone. This is that kind of shade. So next we're going to be going in with the blush and this one's new, I just got it the other day from Sephora. This is the Jouer Blush Bouquet in the shade Rose Gold. It has two colors, Marigold and Rose Petal. So this is Marigold and this is Rose Petal. Rose Petal on my cheeks today because I want a little bit of a glow. For blush, we are going to be using Morphe E4. It's a little angled. So that should be good enough tap off excess because this palette is pigmented you won't believe when I say that I am going very light handed I like pulling up my blush in to my face or under, right under my eye sometimes, it actually gives a healthier glow, I feel like. See, it looks more natural. Um, the last video I posted, I had a glitch and I lost my footage where I did my contour, highlighter, my blush in, my mascara application and also my lipstick application so that sucked but I still didn't want to back out I just wanted to post because I know I've been saying for a long time now that I want to start YouTube and I just never got around to doing it so by the way if you guys want to follow me follow me on snapchat Instagram, um, Facebook, I do have all my accounts linked, linked down below. So come say hi. I am more active on Snapchat. I, yeah, and Instagram. I barely am on Facebook, but I don't think anyone uses Facebook like they used to before. But I, I still am active on all three platforms. So hit me up. I have Twitter, but I barely use my account. So now that my blushing is done, we are going to go in and fill in our eyebrows and I'll be right back. Okay, so brows are on. This is how they look. I didn't want to shoot them this time. It takes way longer and it's so hard to focus on the camera like when I'm moving so much and zooming in and stuff. So anyways, next we are going in with eyeshadow. And the real star of the show is... Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals and I want to try something colorful today. This is how that looks. Beautiful palette. So I want to try this shade over here. It's the sequin texture and the poet shade over here. So I want to try this. First let's go in with the shade Aura. It's a matte creamy matte shade and this is a BH Cosmetics I like to do this under my brows on my brow bone it's a very light wash mm -hmm. over here underneath my other brow bone this helps clean up underneath the brows a little bit better I'm going to be taking a big fluffy blending brush it's the morphe m441 this is how it looks it's very fluffy and i'm going to be using the shade soothe over here it's a, another matte color very neutral i want to do this color to build start building up my crease So I'm doing a into my crease. The palette does have a little bit of kick up, but I don't really mind. It doesn't bother me. 
as long as I remember to tap off the excess. I'm just building up the shadow. Now that was just one layer. And you see how much pigmentation this shade has. And I've heard nothing but good things about the palette, so I already have high expectations. So I'm gonna build up the shadow a little bit more. So I'm using Soothe and the matte texture, and I'm just building up that shadow like so. Okay, so next, a little smaller of a blending brush. It's the Morphe M537. It's a smaller, a little bit more tapered of a blending brush. And I want to go into the shade Ritual. So it's the shade over here. And it's in the matte textured once again. And I'm just gonna build but this time I'm just going to pack it more into the inner corner and the outer corner. Just packing it on and then just blending it out. So I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. So now I'm going to take my other brush again, the one I used previously, and I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines or edges. Just make sure I don't have any harsh edges. I saw Tati say that you're supposed to just tap the product on, so that's what I'm trying to do here. I love the blue sparkles in the shadow. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. I haven't even used any kind of um, glitter glue or lash glue. I mean glitter glue or any kind of adhesive to stick the shadow on but can you see how beautiful that shadow looks next I'm going to be taking my smaller blending brush 573 from Morphe and 573 and just blend out any harsh lines where the shadow, the glitter meets the crease colors. Aura over here in the texture metallic. And we are going to be putting that in the inner corner. Let's see how that looks. Oh, beautiful. So over here I just used the shade Aura in the glitter format, a glitter texture on top of Aura Metallic just to give it a little bit of a glow. Now I'm going to be taking a smaller blending brush and this is the MAC 217 going to be taking memory in matte it's the dark black in matte oh my god I think I just took too much my goodness that shadow is so pigmented so I just stamped it on and now I'm not even gonna touch that with that brush I'm just gonna blend with my other Morphe brush that I use for blending out my crease color, my darker crease colors. And blend, blend. It's better to do it step by step instead of like, you know, putting a, like a lot of shadow on and then blending. It's better to just do it one step at a time. That way you don't make the shadows muddy or um, you don't just slather too much color on and then have nowhere to go from there so now i'm just gonna take that sequin shade from poet once again the sequin texture 
of the poet shade to intensify that shadow and I'm done with the upper upper eyelids so now we're gonna be taking this shade makeup forever artist color pencil this is from makeup forever in the shade black I'm gonna be using this as my upper eyelid shade lash line I'm gonna use the shade to fill in my upper lash line I don't really like tugging and pulling on my eyes because I already have a lot of lines makes such a huge difference just doing that one step so now I'm going to be repeating the same steps underneath my eyes just with smaller brushes tooth tapping off the excess keep my under eyes relatively brighter and then I'm going to be taking the shade ritual with the same brush Concentrated much more towards the outer corners of my bottom lash line. And then just blend it in. Taking a smaller Inglot brush, it's the ADHP. This is how it looks. To blend, un un blend underneath the eyes. So I'm just going to smudge that out. Furthermore, I don't have any product on the brush right now. Just making sure I blended out the ritual shade because that is a very harsh shade. And then I'm going to take memory very slightly and then just focus it tighter to the under eye lash line. Do the same thing on the other eye. Um, guys first time using this palette and I'm already in love I have so much inspiration from this one palette so this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills jet waterproof creme liner as my eyeliner today and I'm going to be using the morphe brush liner brush m217 it's an angled eyeliner brush this is how it looks I'm sorry if I'm really quiet because I'm trying to concentrate so don't mind me
So now we're going to be working on my other eye, which is going to be very hard. It's very easy to do the first liner eye, first eye, because you don't have to match it with anything. You can do it however you please. The struggle is real when you haven't done eyeliner in so long. Your eyes, I think, I feel like the eyes forget how to react when you're applying eyeliner. My eyelids, my eyes close much more rapidly. I did not match them, did I? This is how my eyeliner looks right now. Comment in the comment section down below if you think they match. I can't really tell. Well, I mean, there's nothing I can do, I don't know. Yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you think it matches, if they match. So for eyelashes, I am going to be doing a very light coat of two mascaras, light coat. Look at me over here. So first I'm going to be using Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is how they that looks. It's a dupe for the Too Faced Better, Better Than Sex. But I just, I can't commit to an expensive or a higher end mascara. I just can't do it. Okay, so we're back. Sorry guys if my camera angle changed a little bit, but we had to go on a break because my camera ran out of charge, so I had to charge my battery before I started. So I did I did one layer of the Lash Paradise. Yeah, Lash Paradise from L'Oreal on that eye, and it dried completely because obviously I was charging my battery. I did order an external battery kit It'll be here around the 8th or 10th, they said. Um, and yeah, that should help with my problem of my battery running out of charge and me waiting to charge the battery and then continue filming again. So now I'm using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Um, so I'm doing one coat of this. I let my lashes do the work. I just hold the wand near my lashes and I let the eyelashes do the job for me. I just hold it and sometimes I just wiggle the wand a little bit as well so now that I'm doing I've done that I'll wait for my upper lashes to dry a little bit while I'm doing that I'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes same way like I said I lost footage of my mascara application from my last video and it broke my heart when I lost so much footage, it wasn't just my mascara application, so 
it discourages you a little bit you know like when you film for so many hours it takes a lot of time guys and effort and like you know perseverance to I'm just trying to fan out my lashes a little bit before I comb them out with my lash comb so now that my bottom lashes are done with that I'm going to do my lash telescopic mascara on my bottom lashes I'm trying to hurry through this because I only have like two bars if you guys want to see like haul videos with like stuff I buy from Amazon and stuff let me know and I will gladly do some videos because I love ordering stuff from Amazon being a full-time mommy it's really hard to go places which I still go if I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys but it's better to order things online like Amazon because there are a lot of things you can't find when you go into stores these days so many innovative things I've gotten for my daughter like I've bought for my daughter from Amazon it's even like I've never seen these in store never so yeah if you guys want to see some videos like that let me know and I would love to so I'm just combing out my lashes trying to separate them that way they don't look too cobwebby that's not my style if that's your style then you do you boo okay like so used um, my lily lashes in the shade in the style Miami in the style Miami it was for the Sephora collection and they are beautiful to say the least I don't know if you guys can tell um, the lashes had thick bands which is why I thought it would be hard to apply them but I am not even joking it was five minutes it took me five minutes to apply lashes and this is how they look this is how they look when I open my eyes. They're so flattering and I think they suit my eye shape a lot. And this is my first time trying anything from Lily Lashes. So girl, you got it. You got your game on. This is how they look. They look so pretty. I love them. I can't stop looking at myself. So now for lips, I am going to be using the shade MAC Strip Down lip liner i'm going to be using the lip liner mac strip down this is how it looks it's a nude lip liner uh, i'm going to be filling out my whole entire lip i don't really overdraw my upper lip as much i do overdraw my bottom lip a little bit but you can't really tell wow I even I broke the tip of my lip liner rest in peace rest in peace I think this is the perfect nude for me you know how everyone has like their own shade for perfect nudes? This is mine. This color. This is how it looks. Literally looks like my skin. Not even joking. And then for lip lipstick, I am using the shade Tonka by NARS.
very chocolatey my fave so this is the lip gloss by Fenty Beauty in the shade confetti again it has those little blue sparkles in them that I have in my shadow This is one problem with applying lip gloss on top of lipstick if they don't match the shade. Okay, so this is how it looks. And um, I already fixed my hair. I put the I decided to put the clips on the other side on this side over here. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. I opened my robe as well. This is my shirt. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and show me some love. I am new on YouTube. I am learning. I am still learning. I will be learning for a long time. I did miss this Wednesday, but I am going to be posting Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And um, I don't know any time specific when I'm going to be posting my videos, but I do have my dates set up. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. See you next time.